Well, hello everybody. My name is Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager, the Snowflake, Rambling Idiot, and Vigil. And today we're talking about something very interesting and may surprise you in the many months to come. Actually, a couple months to come. We're talking about not an action RPG that I wasn't expecting and many of you probably weren't expecting either. And what is that? That is The Ascent. That's right. And before we get into this video a topic, I'm Nico the Legend. Feel free to subscribe anytime, anywhere. Thank you very much. Here all day. So what is the ascent here, folks? Well, I'm going to legit, legit read this entire article to you. And then as that is happening, there will be a gameplay video playing in the background. So if you don't like to hear my voice, you at least have the visual aid. But before we do that little presentation itself, Ascent is a cyberpunk Diablo-like that's packing heat. So if you like those isometric action RPGs, if you like Diablo, if you like Path of Exile, you like any of those action RPGs, I mean, even Titan's Quest, well, the Ascent takes the, let's just say, the, uh, the role of a cyberpunk action RPG, which really does sound tantalizing, am I right? So it sounds pretty good. So... Let's tackle into this journalist's experience on their first time playing The Ascent. And this is coming from PC Games End, so it's the first time I ever heard anything from this website. And uh, let's just have a good time and learn all about their experience. And please enjoy the gameplay visual aid and this person's experience. And then we'll go from there, folks. All right, here we go. As a rickety freight elevator carries me down to the grimy industrial bowels of an anti-archology, I realize that the ascent is a by-the-number cyberpunk dystopia. I play a mere cog in the corporate machine, contractually locked into a life of servitude, executing thankless tasks across the city such as past extermination and machine repair. I'm stuck doing this until my contract is served or I die. But there's something to be said for doing the classics well. The Ascent is a visually striking, oppressive action shooter. The first area is an entanglement of swelling pipes, ramshackle wire cobwebs, and whirring machinery. Cockroaches scuttle away as I approach the corpse of a dead engineer. It's a very grim place to be, and it only gets more wretched as I explore. This impressively bleak cyberpunk exterior hides the fact that the Ascent has the bones and guts of a Diablo-style action RPG. The camera is fixed in an isometric position. Occasionally I'm asked to duck under beams or hack into terminals to pass through gates. But other than that, exploration feels similar to navigating the subterranean caverns and dungeons of Sanctuary. As you'd expect in any self-respecting ARPG, and certainly in one so influenced by Diablo, loot is key to your build. Each item has its own stats and resistances, which I can ponder in the inventory screen. For example, if I'm fighting enemies that focus on melee attacks, I want to invest any gear and resources into bolstering my physical defense. Leveling up grants stat points that I can invest into attributes such as balance, which adds resistances to being stunned, knocked back, or staggered, and decreases movement penalties while firing heavy weapons. So far, so standard. Augmentations, however, are interchangeable skills which can either be bought or found. They offer more flexibility and customizable ability to your build. I only have access to a knockoff Falcon Punch in the demo, which flattens anything in its area of effect, but it looks like these will cover an array of different playing styles. While I don't get the chance to upgrade the augmentations, there are empty slots, which suggests these skills can be tuned further, sort of like Diablo's gem slots. The Diablo comparisons continue when it comes to combat and that the Ascent's battles are just as busy and hectic. At first it's just mindless bots that widely charge at me, like children towards the music of an ice cream van. But as I progress further into the demo, I'm bombarded by a variety of grimy and well-armed thugs. Some carry pistols, others carry rocket launchers, and unlike stormtroopers, they don't miss their shots. Later in the demo, I seem to find myself constantly on the verge of death. I fall back on the tired and tested tactic of running around hurting enemies into one pack while I take pot shots between evasive dashes. At first this gets me nowhere, 
But then the developers point out that I can aim for the head rather than the gut. This is obvious in any first person shooter, but feels like a game changer in an isometric one. Headshots stagger enemies more often and do a bit more damage, but I'm still getting hit a lot and health pickups are punishingly few and far between. It isn't until the final boss fight of the demo that another of the Ascent's fundamental features clicks. You're supposed to take cover. In my defense, this is also the first time it's really important to take cover, as most previous encounters are against swarms of rabid cyborgs more intent on ripping my guts out by hand than on shooting them. It's another exciting wrinkle to the Ascent's formula that suggests I've taken the superficial Diablo similarities too far, but hints there's more to this chimera of game ideas than meets the eye. Grasping the importance of cover makes the last encounter a bit easier, but I'm still occasionally uprooted from behind cover by a Larkane, a hulking cockney snot monster with a mohawk, whose massive hammer smashes cause minor quakes that force me out into the open. Despite the steep learning curve, I could see myself really getting into the ascent. Whether you're into games like Diablo or just love the whole cyberpunk aesthetic, this is one to keep an eye on. The ascent is set to release on July 29th, 2021, and as well as PC will be available on Xbox consoles and Xbox Game Pass. You can also check out our top picks for the best cyberpunk games or read up on the best RPG games if you're after more recommendations. Well, there you go, folks. That is this person's experience on The Ascent, which is, as I said before, a cyberpunk Diablo-like that's back in heat. Now, I don't know about you, but this does sound pretty exciting to me. Uh, we have seen a lot of isometric action RPGs uh, set in like the sordid sorcery uh, phase or genre, you know, like Diablo, Path of Exile. I mean, Titan's Quest is cutting it real close, but uh, me personally, I haven't seen anything with the cyberpunk aesthetic, and that sounds pretty exciting to me. I, I mean, what do you guys think, right? After seeing the gameplay and hearing this person's experience, we can kind of get in a, gen a general idea on how this game's going to be. Now, I know uh, this footage that you saw was alpha, so there's a lot to still go off of, you know, and there's plenty of work to be done. But hey, I don't know about you, Cyberpunk aesthetic with the Diablo action RPG vibe to it, or got the, the, the meat, the guts, the bones, I think it might be, I think this might be a good time, guys. And you can even get it on Steam right now, pre-order it for 10% uh, off, which is like 26 bucks. So pretty pretty decent price. Uh, I would love to see how this does when it officially comes out in a, a mere couple months, which is always exciting to, re to learn about a game that's coming out real soon instead of two years from now. Uh, thanks, Bethesda. But hey, uh, I want to know what you guys think about The Ascent, this new action RPG coming out, which I'm... I can say I'm mostly excited about. Cautiously optimistic, of, of course, because, hey, these games can go either way these days, right? But I hope the best for this company on with The Ascent, and I hope you guys find it interesting. If not, completely understandable. If we're all waiting for Diablo 2 Remaster or Diablo 4, hey, you wouldn't be the only one. Anyway, folks, I've been your host, Nico the Legend, also known as the Well-Mannered Teenager, the Snowflake, Rambling Idiot, and Vigil, and... Please let me know what you think of the ascent down below. Take care, Pathfinders.